And uh, good yourself. Yeah, good, thanks. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you both. All cameras uh, good at the back. Can we just make sure mobile phones are on silent? And we've got England batter Harry Brook. We're going to start with the UK media and Rory Dollar. Go ahead, Rory. Hi, Harry. Your uh, scores are tied at 1-1. How does it how does it feel and how does it change the, the feeling around when it's a series decider and, and the series is on the line? It's exciting, isn't it? It's always good to play in deciding games. Um, yeah, and hopefully we can put in a good performance. And have, I don't know if you've uh, been told or, or worked out what the team is yet. Can you tell us anything about the team? No. No? Nope. Sorry. <laughs> uh, in terms of the pitch, obviously we've seen they've got the the heaters out again this week and they're trying to, to dry it up. What, what is your assessment of what you've been able to see from the pitch? God knows, to be honest. Everybody goes and looks at the wicket and everybody says something different. So just wait and see. That's the beauty of batting number five. You get to have a little watch first and, and see what it's doing. But um, yeah, hopefully it's just like any other Pakistani pitch. It's good to bat on for the first few days. And then um, yeah, hopefully we can get a bit of turnout at the back end of the game. And on a personal level, you still riding high from the, the 300 and a bit of time to, to settle into being a triple centurion in Test cricket? Yeah, obviously it was nice to, to get that amount of runs, but no, I'm still hungry to score a lot more, so hopefully I can play a big part in this game. And obviously last week they, they changed the team, they, they switched it up, brought, brought a couple of spinners in and, and they had some success. Have you, have you had a sort of think about facing Sajid and, and Norman again this week? Yeah, absolutely. They're obviously both going to play a massive part in their team this week. Yeah, spoken to a few lads about game plans and, and how we're going to go about it. And yeah, hopefully, like I said, it, it pays off and I play a big part in the game. Anyone else from UK yet? Chris and then Simon, please. Hi, Harry. Um, I know the, the pitch, we don't know how it's going to play yet, but how much confidence can you draw from the win you had here a couple of years ago? Uh, yeah, that was that was a mega win, wasn't it? Going into the last few minutes of the of the last day, yeah. Hopefully, we can we can take some of that confidence and, and momentum we had here last time and and bring it into this game and and put on a good performance. In terms of uh, performances away from home, obviously started under this regime here a couple of years ago, three 0 series win, not been successful since. Is it important for you guys to kind of? win a series away from home again and restate the fact that you go you, you are a team for all conditions I think we've just got to keep on playing the way we have done and the results will go either way really we've just got to the, the results will look after themselves I think the, the way that we've been playing over the last few years has been really entertaining and we've drawn crowds and, uh, and people have wanted to watch so I think if we keep on playing like that like I said the results will um, we'll, we'll be there in time Simon, please, behind uh, Chris. Hi. Uh, just back to 2022. Um, has it, like, do you discuss, do you draw on memories of, of like, amazing, significant wins like that when you go back to places? Is that kind of useful in inspiring you? Is it unhelpful? I think the conditions are going to be a little bit different from last time. Obviously, we played on a, an extremely <laughs> flat pitch here last time. It was awesome to bat on, and we scored a, a a good rate of knots so yeah this game's probably going to be slightly different it might it might turn early on uh, who knows it might be a good pitch to start with and we get off to a flyer so I think we've just got to approach it like any other game really and, and play the conditions and and the situation of the game maybe the lesson of that win wasn't that you were you could succeed on a flat pitch but that you were a team that was able to succeed in any conditions really manufacture a win from nothing yeah, and like I said, last time was a flat pitch, but this time probably isn't going to be as flat. Um, it might be for the first couple of days, but yeah, like the, the way that we score with the bat, especially, is um, will play a big part, I think. Well, Matt, go ahead, and then we'll do two at the front here, and then we're done. Harry, um, Baz said at the end of the last test, he thought you would learn a bit from uh, how that test went on a personal note. Um, I think you're out on the playing off the back foot in both innings. Is there anything you've Felt as though you did learn in that test. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Can See you, if I can do it in this game. Can you tell us what it is? No. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, last two here, please. Go ahead. Uh, Harry, uh, this is Zaid Farooq Malik. Uh, a lot of difference between the weather 
in Multan and Islamabad and pitch as well. What will be the strategy, the spinner attack? Are you going with the fast attack? Uh, I'm not sure we can um, divulge into that information yet, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow when Stokesy or someone else tells you. <laughs> Last one, please. Thank you. Thank you. This is Afzal Ali Mubarak, Delhi Mail, Islamabad. Uh, uh, you seen the picture. It is uh, likely to Bhutan, or uh, you are seeing that it will be support to um, better. <laughs> Sorry, I understood a word. Of that. <laughs> right. um, yeah, I'd have thought so. I think they've had they've had the rakes out and the fans and heaters on the pitch. So. Yeah, hopefully it'll be a nice pitch for the first couple of days and then we're expecting it to turn the back end of the game and yeah, hopefully we can, we can put in a good performance. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you. Thanks, Harry. Thank you.